Hey guys, Aaron here, and any of you upgrade to the iOS 5 beta but want to downgrade for some reason? Well, I'm going to show you guys how to do this easily. So Apple says there's not actually no way to downgrade, but there actually is, and there's a few ways to do it, and this way is the easiest way. So the first step is to actually just connect your iOS 5 device, be it an iPad 2 or an iPhone, into your computer. But you have to make sure your computer isn't running the new 10.5 beta iTunes. So it has to be running 10.3 or possibly even below, but I'm not too sure about restoring if you do that. But I would recommend the current release of iTunes, which is 10.3.1. And yeah, so just make sure your computer has that because if it has 10.5, it's going to restore to iOS 5. So after you've connected your iOS device to a computer with iTunes 10.3 or below, you're going to want to turn your iOS device off by holding the lock screen and the home button until this screen shows up. From here you slide to power off and it'll turn off. Okay, from here we're going to want to enter DFU mode, which is the iPhone or iPad's recovery mode. When you first got your phone or iPad, this is actually when it shows the need to plug into iTunes screen basically. So to do that, we're going to hold both buttons for 10 seconds, and then after 10 seconds has passed, we're going to release the lock button, but still hold the home button until the iTunes icon appears. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release lock, but still holding home button. And there we go. This is DFU mode. Should look familiar. So from here, what you're going to want to do is open iTunes. So we're now on a computer with the device connected, and this computer is running 10.3.1, which is the current stable release of iTunes. So let's open it up, and instantly iTunes will say that it's detected a device that's in recovery mode, which is DFU mode. So we're going to hit OK, and we're going to restore the device. So we just hit restore and update, you go through the next, agree, and it's restoring. And once this is finished, you will have your iPad in a fresh install of 4.3.3. So after the update has finished downloading the latest release of uh, iOS, which should be 4.3.3, it's going to automatically update the iPad. So after you hit restore and it's downloading it, you can just leave it alone because it's automatically going to update as you see. So it just finished, the progress bar just completed, and it says your iPad has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave it connected. OK. It's rebooting. Just let it run through its stuff. Done. There you go. You saw the home or the lock screen. So that means we're finished, basically. Slide to unlock, and there you go. You have a fresh, new, uh, untainted by iOS 5 iPad. Thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if this works for you, because some people actually get stuck in DFU mode, and there is a solution for that, and I can post a video up on how to get out of that if that happens to you. Anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment and let me know how this went for you, and like and subscribe.